yo, 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 welcome to the Rocket City Network. Power, Power Book Ghost. Mr. Stokes, mm -hmm. how do you feel about what happened last night and what's going on with the, the series in general? Man, listen. Oh, man. I, I don't know, man. Like, we all, it's another, like, we have said that we've, we've said this before. The writers for Power are amazing. They're so consistent. And the storyline always matches up. You know, in some series, it's good, but the writing kind of throws you off. Mm -hmm. But I love Power because the writing is consistent. And then they always hit you with a surprise, man. Like, la last night when... um. <laughs> When they bust in, when they knocked on the door and brought Effie out of there, and she went to the car and Lauren rolled down that window, man. Yeah. And then yeah. Kane, Kane was in the background and he saw it and he took yeah. off, man. It's so it's so many layers to this this story, man. And um, it's just it's just so dope the way they write it, man. I mean, everybody in the everybody in the series has um something going on like you know drew drew got his issue with when he killed his his dude yeah. he saw his ex dude and kane he mm -hmm. finally got with effie diana's in a thing like it's just everybody's scrambling fortunately sax got whacked off last oh. night let's yeah. talk about that real quick man <laughs> sax survived five seasons of yeah. the original power and he survived what three and a half this yeah time. Yeah. When you, when you saw Sax get into some trouble, uh, when he got found out that he was a mole, did mm -hmm. you think he was going to get killed? No, I, I didn't think he was going to get. Actually, man, when the series, when the episode came on last night, you know how they give like what's going to be in the episode, violence, suicide, yeah. all that. My wife and I were talking and I was like, we were trying to guess like somebody going to kill themselves. I'm like, shoot, it might be Effie. It might be Lauren or whatever. Um, I I. I thought it was going to be sacks because I figured through the episode when, especially when he found out they went and tried to get Effie and it was sugar in the warehouse, yeah. I was like, oh, Sax about to, Sax about to kill itself because yeah. yeah. the walls are closing in. And so I wanted Sax to die way back in the regular power when Tommy and Ghost when they got him and put the bag over his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wanted them to whack him then, but he survived this long and he was a really, really good character. Um, but you know, man, when you do dirt, your time, you don't have when you do dirt, your your time, you, you shorten yeah. your time, man. And so I was sad to see him go the way he did, man. But you think hey. he's dead though. Because oh, when, he he when he was on the ground, he was like <laughs> he was, he was. Yeah, but yeah. So I, I be yeah. listen. I'd be shocked if I see him next week or whatever yeah. they do the next episode. But yeah, but yeah, man. It was. I give it another ten, and I can't wait the next week to see about Effie yeah. to read, and you know with Braden and his company and his uncle was a yeah. it, like just crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and the thing too is, <clears throat> it's so realistic because yeah. we, we think that Braden's you know family came from you know, uh, hard work, dedication, and building something. Right. Come to find out they've been ripping off everybody. And it doesn't matter what race you are. No. Nope. They're ripping off everybody. Everybody. You know? um, I think that, what's the character's name, the billionaire, that's been kind of like... Um, uh, RSJ? He said RSJ? Yeah, the black guy? Yeah. I think that uh, he's going to stick around for a little bit for, for yeah. some odd reason. And, and even with his character... And the amount, in the limited amount of time he's been on the show, you can see that he's very brilliant, and he might be clean cut, but yeah. the simple for the simple fact that he was going to blackmail Braden's uncle lets you know that hey, he can play hard too, mm. you know. Uh, and with Effie, you know, I I really didn't see that coming as far as her. I thought she was going to get caught up for the drugs. You know I did too. Yeah. And then when they when they busted through it the second time, I was like, I don't know, but 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 for them to say hey, it's for the murder, attempted murder, now that that was a that was big, that was big. And I think I told you before, Matt. Look, I knew I knew Kane was gonna smash. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but you know, it seems like he really has feelings for her. He does. And, uh, and you know, even though Monet thinks that Kane is an idiot, he's a pretty smart guy. 
Yeah, Kane. You know is, what I'm saying? Kane, Kane he, he's, he's legit. You know, I didn't like him the first season, but he's yeah. starting to grow on me. You know, he, mm. he seems like he'll do anything for his family. Yeah, yeah. but Monet, man, um, you know, when they found out, when they found out that she had Lorenzo killed, and I, I think, I honestly think, man, it would be crazy if they had Kane in Monet. That that would be crazy. If they had Kane or Drew or, or all three of I them. I think Diana might. Now that now Diana might, because she low you know, when when she told her last night that she wanted to get away, she wanted to transfer. Yeah. yeah. And her mother was like, I'll slap you upside your head. Yeah. Get to the car. She I'm wanted like, to spell me. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. Diana, but you know, Diana is calculated, just like she, just like she put all that out about Zeke was Monet was Zeke's uh, mom and all yeah. that. Yeah, she calculated, bro. And and her and Monet, they're not, they're still on the outs. Although it looks like they're trying to come together, I think this is gonna push them back apart. Yeah, if that okay, yeah, yeah, and and you know, um, all three of the kids, man, they're 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 pretty smart. I mean, they're 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 brilliant. Yeah, uh, Drew he acts on emotions too, too much. much, but but he is a he's a psychopath. Crazy, yeah, he's he is crazy. And Monet, that's what I'm saying. Like she she's she's the puppet master. She's man. manipulating him. Yeah, she manipulated him. He, he sent that text to do her. You know when he was with the guy, he shot him in the shower. Yeah, and she know she she thought that was closed, but now you the remember, mom, yeah. Is the mom and saw the YouTube video. Yeah. So that's another element of the show. It's just, yeah. just yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a lot, man, because uh lady who played the mom, you know, she was on New York Undercover for all those years. Yeah. Her her, her name's uh, a great actress. Great actress. Mm -hmm. And I think she she had an inkling thinking that uh Monet had something to do with her husband, but she really didn't want to act on it. Right. Cause it, cause like she didn't want her sons to retaliate and, and, and get, get killed in the melee. Correct. But I think now she's going to be pissed because, oh, she mad. Mon because Monet lied to her. Monet lied and twice. To, yeah. Yeah. Twice. And, and I feel Monet on the whole getting rid of old dude because he was about to be reckless. He was talking her crazy. Yeah. He, I mean, he needed to go, you know, <laughs> yeah, he, he was talking spicy yeah, to him. Yeah, he, like he needed to go and you know, she don't, she don't like loose strings. Nah. You know what I'm saying, um, I, I think she definitely took advantage of him because he was, you know, yeah he, yeah, he was like he was the way he was, but he still was a killer. Yeah, you know, uh, but she pro she probably felt like, hey, he has to go because I don't want this secret to get out. Uh, right. But I think that the person that's going to be the most crushed when it does come out is going to be um, the middle son, um, Drew. Drew, he's going to yeah, be he's going to be hurt because because like you said. He's very emotional. He just his his reactionary his when he reacts, it's it's it he goes yeah. zero to a hundred and and to know how his mother manipulated and preyed on his feelings. And I mean, you saw when he when that he picked up the phone and went through it. And soon as he get he read it, he went right to the right yeah. and picked up the gun, no no whatever, and just pulled the trigger. Boom. Yeah, 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 man. Uh I kind of wanted him and uh, old dude to get into it at that uh, the coffee shop or the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. and, and, you know, I understand why he was upset because you didn't want to come out with me, but then you got some other guy, and, and, and now you haven't even haven't even played a court in the NBA. Now you want to be this, this, uh, this symbol for the NBA, you know? So Drew felt a certain kind of way. Now, back to Saks. I don't think they would have gotten rid of Saks if uh, if he was still alive, or if he if he didn't meet that fate that uh, that he did, I yeah. think he would have, they would have worked something out. You know, now Davis probably wouldn't have trusted him, but they would have worked something out because remember, Davis he's a manipulator too. Yeah, and and yeah, you know, Sachs used him, but hell, he was using Sachs. Yeah, you know, but not not in the same kind of way. Now that was wild. You know, the way Sachs, you know, <laughs> did him like that. Uh, but but yeah, Sachs is gone, man. He he's 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 gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. He Fox. just yeah. he. I mean, you know, like I said, man. It's uh, it was it was gonna happen eventually because the walls the walls were closing in. And you remember, he said 
he had left Tariq that message that if I die, all your all your whatever dies with me. Take your dogs. Like he he thought Tariq was coming after him, but Tariq wasn't even trying to come. Oh, Obviously, no. they wouldn't have. But at that particular moment, they were not coming after him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why I, I love the show is because they start bringing in outside current events to the show, right? Mm-hmm. Not 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 necessarily naming them per se, but the Rico charge, right? Right. We know there's a lot of rappers getting in trouble with this whole Rico charge. We have mm-hmm. uh, was it was a YS, YSL mm-hmm. or whoever you know. I don't know. I don't know the the, the gang names, but I know like Young Thug. Uh, yeah. Gunna just got out. Uh, you had Sue yeah. Surf. Uh, he's you know facing uh, mm, thirty, probably about five years. Well, well, thirty. They're, they're saying thirty. But he might get out, you know, he probably he's, he's gonna do some time. Right, you know? right, right. But I like how they brought that into the show. And the mere fact that they mentioned Rico, everybody went crazy. Yeah. Like when they when they said Rico charge, mm-hmm. when they got <laughs> she, <laughs> she got nervous. Yeah. Uh Kane, and we know Tar- Tariq got nervous too. Yeah. Because when they when they figure figure out that you're an enterprise. All you guys are going to get some fed time. And with fed time, you're going to get 85% of it. You're going to have to do 85% of it. Yeah. You, because you. I don't even think um, uh, the dad was in on the Rico charge. Of course, mm-hmm. Well, they, they would have been locked up too, but I, but I think he was on some other stuff. But, yeah, you know, people say, hey, we, we'd rather do that state time than that <laughs> than that fed time. Yeah, that fed you know, time. You, you going to yeah. serve that. Yeah. Yeah. So because, like, thinking back, did they ever try to – well, they were close to getting a Rico charge on on Ghost and Tommy, mm-hmm. but it didn't. But it didn't seem like Ghost and Tommy were scared. Nah, they weren't scared, especially Tommy. Go, Ghost was more so trying to get out the game. Tommy was like, "Nah, this is all we know. Like, what you trying to go legit for?" Yeah, you know? yeah. And so, um, yeah, they were they were trying to get in with a Rico man, but you know how it is, man. They they they, they always go. It's always gonna look like they. They gonna get caught, and then something gonna happen, and they gonna have yeah. a they bind themselves a little more time. Yeah, because countless times through the original series and this current series, they made they made the feds look stupid. <laughs> you know, and, and we're and we're not talking about how Tommy and Ghost did it. We're talking right. about young folks, right? So, you know, um, the the daughter, and she yeah. got that note. She knew what to say. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, even even uh, the simple fact that she was feeding them false information, uh, the, the cop that got killed in their home, the, the, the quote unquote mm-hmm. the home invasion, and then with yeah. sex. Like, they're getting outsmarted by kids. And I think that the feds, they're underestimating who they're dealing with. Yeah. The only person that really didn't underestimate Tariq was probably Sax, because Sax had been burned so many times. But Blanca, she's still, she's still gung ho. I don't like Blanca. <laughs> I, I don't like her. Like if I, I, she is, she plays her character well, but yeah. I don't, I don't like her. I, I didn't like her in the um when she was in, probably in the original one, because she always comes in with this, with this attitude of know it all. Yep. I mean, she does it by the, she does do it by the book, man. But she is just jumps off the porch with all this stuff, and I'm like, man, sit down somewhere, man. Like yeah. you, yeah. I don't like her character, man. Yeah, because like when she jumps off the porch, she ends up looking like a like a doofus, right? All the time. And like that All one the time. that one time she tried to go off the book. Oh, it was. <laughs> she said never again. Yeah. But I'm just I'm just surprised that she still has a job. Yeah. I mean, just just the just the amount of buffoonery that she's gotten herself into. It, it's it's just hilarious, man. And then of course Jenny, I think she's about to go next. Not not dying, but she's gonna get caught up with, in some stuff. Yeah, uh, she. I don't like her either. She she really tried to play sax and then tried to make it look like, you know, then tried to make it look like he did her wrong. But I'm like, you you were the shady one in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sax sax was shady, but he was really trying to be honest with you yeah. when he started when when you know before we knew Lauren was alive. You know when he was call, when Lauren was calling her phone and, and texting and all this. And Sax was like, "What you been on your phone? What's up?" She was like, "Oh, it's nothing." Uh, right then, you know, Sax had to find out he had to follow you, and then yeah. he found out Lauren was a lot. So, so Jenny, you're not you're not uh, 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 innocent in none of this either. 
Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen to Effie? Do you think she's going to get out somehow, some way? I don't know, man. I think. You think old girl will put her away? Yeah, because I mean, kill me. <laughs> oh, look, listen, Lauren is a is with the feds, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. like she literally said, "Roll down the window." That's the that yeah. tried to kill yeah. me, and 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 Effie looked like she wanted to drop dead right there. Like, yeah. so yeah. unless Effie get in there and start talking, yeah, and she's gonna have to sing like a canary when they when they when they get her in that room, man. But yeah, I I yeah. don't know, man. Yeah, because, like, you know, I still think that Tariq has Lauren's ear. To an yeah. extent, but when she rolled down that window and said, hey, she tried to kill me, mm -hmm. she's not she's not going to, like, flip to Tariq's side to save him because, for one, their connection yeah. you know, just wasn't, it just wasn't strong enough. And, yeah, she she likes him and she believes him, what he, what he says, but yeah, I think her moral character is going to make her do the right thing because – to be honest, they put her through hell for the last six months. You know, yeah. her not being able to see her family, her family thinking that she was dead. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I so I think she's gonna put Effie away. She's yeah, gonna put Effie. her away. And, and, unless, unless Kane can save her. You know, he he a simp right now. He's been one. <laughs> so he's simping, so he may he may try to be like, I did it. You know, you never know, man, but I just know, man, it's, it's going to be interesting next week, man, just to see again all the parts, uh, how they're going to dodge this Rico charge, what's going to happen yeah. with Effie, what's going to happen with Drew and all that, man. It's, it's just so much. I wish it was a two-hour episode, man. Yeah, man. And, you know, every time I, I click on it, I'm just hoping, like, it doesn't say we'll be back in February. Right. Back, you know, in October or something like that. So they got to keep the episodes coming because I'm pretty sure – well, this is this is episode what eight, seven, or eight? Yeah, this was eight last night. Yeah. So hopefully they have twelve episodes locked and loaded. But uh, yeah, man, uh, Fifty Cent, man, the writers, man, they, they got something. Yeah, they you know they, they, they got a hit, man. Like yeah, they got a they got a hit. I mean, because other two, uh, Kanan and the one with Tommy. Yeah, I like the one with Kanan. Yeah. Um, Tommy was okay, but it really didn't gauge my interest or pique my interest like like Tariq and pop and like Tariq because you know the power book series is is really really good man yeah and, and you know I actually like the the Tommy one yeah I think a lot of folks well well with the Tommy with force he gained people who didn't watch power originally right right versus the Tariq one you we you know we're the followers we're following him mm -hmm. we're following him to his new show or whatnot because we know with the old one you know how how it felt and and, and how it was uh, how it resonated right. with us. I think with this new power book, force, you're in a different city too. Yeah. So it, so it's so you're you're working with a whole different dynamic. You know you got crews, you got Chicago, um, but I think they had Serbians, Russians, or mm -hmm. you know it, it's a it's a it's a lot going on. Um, yeah. But yeah, man. So um, hopefully nobody else dies <laughs> this season. <laughs> And and uh, we and you know we haven't seen uh, what's her name, uh, Lola Mona. Yeah, Noma. We haven't Noma. seen her. And, yeah, and, and, uh, yeah we so, haven't seen her. And, and and I'm pretty sure she knows what's going on. Yeah, she she's gonna have a these last two episodes. I think she should she may have a real significant part because you know they still scrambling trying to pay her her money or whatever she has to sell those drugs. So they in a Rico. So I don't know how they gonna try to sell drugs. I think when her and Monet meet up, that's gonna be classic. Oh yeah, like that's that's gonna be classic because they they both the same. Yeah. You know, it's just that you know Monet a little hood, Noma yeah. is, is 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 international, international. <laughs> so her her style is different, but they but they both are the same as far as how they act and uh, how they portray themselves as leaders. Yeah, yeah. They want to get it done by any means, and they'll take out anybody that they feel is in their way. Yeah, and and the thing too is the Tejadas. You know, I was always thinking like, okay, wouldn't they have known ghosts? But that lets you know that Ghost and Tommy were so far up the chain. Yeah, that that, that the street millionaires they still didn't have access to him. Right. So I think Monet when she finds out who uh, Noma is. 
she's like, wow, this is a game changer. Yeah. You know, but she has to watch how she deals with the connect because even, even the dad, he mm. really didn't know what to, how, how to how to play it. You know what I'm saying? Because they right. they never seen this kind of this kind of weight, so to speak. Correct. Yeah. Now, 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 I think if Noma had had uh, met with met up with Ghost and Tommy, they would have got her in check because they were they were used to dealing with Lobos and and the Serbian guy and the guys yeah. out of Chicago. But, yeah. Uh, but when when Monet meets Noma, this is a it's a game changer. Yeah. You know, it's it's a, it's a game changer. <laughs> So there you have it, folks, the Rocket City Network. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we are out. Yep.